There you go, ladies. I got a treat for you. Up there, that's the that's the birch polypore. Way up that tree. That's probably closest. That's usually the height. And usually when I get them, I get it with when the uh, tree falls on the ground already. But ha ha ha! When you don't have the skill set, you get yourself a stick. Boom. There we go. It's, although the best time to, to use a stick is in winter because that's when those things are frozen and I can easily knock them off. I'm mushing things up there. So I'm going to try to sharpen this end, the big end, send it back up and see if I can use it like a club. I'm mangling them up there, but they all look pretty fresh. So when they hit the ground, they're just going to be dirty. Here I am at home and uh, this is the birch polypore right here. This one I was actually growing on a log that was on the ground. It was kind of growing like this. But this is what it looks like. It grows off, off in the woods. Like that. This is one of the ones I was knocking out with that log, with that stick, and it mangled the shit out of it. But that's okay. Because they say that this stuff right here, this layer right here, you should peel that off to use it. But Because then it would be less bitter. Because when I make a tea out of this, it is quite bitter. But I don't care. It tastes like an IPA beer or something like that. You know, sometimes when I'm cutting this stuff up, this birch polypore, sometimes when I'm cutting it up, I wish I'd cut myself. You know, I don't intentionally cut myself. I'm not gothic or nothing like that. But what I like sometimes is to cut myself because I'm ready. I'm ready for the pain. I'm ready for the blood. I'm ready for the wound because I've got the birch polypore and it's fresh. So it's pile pliable like that, right? I can just wrap it around my bleeding finger, you know, put a piece of tape on it nice and tight and it'll stop the bleeding. It'll stop the pain somewhat. And not only that, it'll help my body heal the wound from within so much that when I've took, take it off a couple of days, it's like, it's amazingly healed. Anyways, that's the birch polypore.